There's been something happening ever since this man came. He doesn't know anything about this. I have not spoken to him except the first night I spoke for a second or two. But I got a phone call when I left here after the first night. And someone from Florida called me and she had no idea who was here or who would preach. And she prophesied as soon as I answered the phone. And she said, three angels are visiting. She said, pay attention. She said, run, 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 people, run. I hung up the phone and I thought, Lord, help me. If I'm doing something wrong, move me. Because if you're looking at my flesh, folks, I hate to tell you, it's always going to be bad because there's nothing ever going to be good in it. I buried it and I tried to leave it there. The phone rung, talked to someone else. The person says to me, I told them the prophecy and they said, do you know what happened after that? I'm not a good Bible scholar. I said, no, sir, I didn't. He said, Sodom and Gomorrah. I hung up, started praying. I said, oh God, have mercy. If you've ever had mercy on this world, have mercy. My sister knew nothing. She called me up and she said, did you know that Tilden has found things? This is a brother that goes to our church. has been here since he was a little boy. He's found things that's never been given out here because it's never been reproduced. And it's the first series where dad taught from Genesis on a chalkboard. I live in Gainesville, folks. I don't talk to people down here on a daily basis. I work. My phone rung from the same person that had prophesied, and another prophecy came forth. And she said, and this I don't fully understand. I do somewhat, and I say this as I say before, very carefully because I don't want to confuse anybody. But the prophecy was, you've been lied to. You went down to Egypt for your help. The hieroglyphics came from Egypt, and they've been passed down through generations in the writings. Say, so go back to the teaching that's the archives of your dad's ministry, and you will find a truth there for translation. Had no idea. I'm just sharing that for whatever it's worth. It shook me to my very core, I'll tell you that. Amen. I'd like to read a scripture before we close out tonight. Brother William Branham, I don't know if all you guys know this, but he said, No service is complete without a scripture. Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which does so easily beset us. Let us run with patience the race that is set before us. You're dismissed. Mm.